suppose you are navigating very close to a shore or very close to an oil field and while towards the shore you can find a lighthouse whose coordinate is known to you this is very important you have to know the coordinate of the distance object okay whether it is a lighthouse or whether it is a oil platform you need to know the exact coordinate the easting northing of those two distant objects and you already have your own position on board your vessel so with your position and the distant object position you can find out the grid bearing you can find out the grid bearing between these two objects so what is the formula for grid bearing grid bearing is equal to tan inverse delta easting divided by delta northing and that's it you just have to find out the difference between the easting and the difference between the northing and simply use the tan formula delta easting by delta northing will give you grid bearing now that you have found your grid bearing all you have to do is measure the angle with reference to the vessel's fore and aft line to that distance object the distance object has to be very tiny so there is no error into your angle measurement okay so now you have measured the angle and you have found the grid bearing to convert the grid bearing into a true bearing you have to apply certain things called convergency and how you can find convergency again it's very easy so what is convergency convergency is the angle between the true north and the grid north and how do you find it ca convergency angle is equal to tan inverse in bracket tan of longitude minus longitude at central meridian multiplied by sin of latitude so as of now we have measured the grid bearing and the convergency from my position to a distant lighthouse so as soon as we get it this line becomes azimuth and you have already measured the angle from the vessel's fore and aft line to the distance object okay so all you have to do is from this azimuth you subtract the angle to find your own azimuth 